distribution of profits allowing salaries, interests, and bonuses. Okay, so let's proceed with our first illustration. Princess and Sarah established a partnership. The partnership's profit for the year was 200,000 pesos. As per agreement of the partners, the following should be considered in the distribution of profit. Annual salary allowance of 25,000 pesos for princess and 40,000 pesos for Sarah. The profit sharing is 60-40 respectively. Our requirement is the preparation of journal entries. Pag may salaries na inalaw sa partners, profit will first be distributed to their salary. Then the remaining will be distributed according to their agreement or capital contributions. So dito sa problem natin, since may salaries yung both partners, dun muna natin niya apply yung profit. It is as if yung profit ay advance nilang kinuha through their salaries. Right. Yung salary allowance daw for princess and Sarah is 25,000 and 40,000. Then, itotal lang natin para makuha natin kung magkano ba yung total salary. Para, yung total salary na yan, yan yung ibabawas natin dun sa ating net profit amounting to 200,000. So, the remaining profit is 135,000. Yung remaining profit na yan, paghahatian ni Princess at ni Sarah based on their profit sharing agreement. So, sabi sa problem kanina, si Princess daw, ang profit sharing niya ay 60%. Well, yung natitirang 40%, yun naman yung mapupunta kay Sarah. Yung remaining profit na 135,000 multiplied by 60%, yun yung mapupunta kay Princess. Well, yung remaining 40%, yun naman yung mapupunta kay Sarah. Okay. So, from here, pwede na tayong mag-create ng entry natin since yun yung nasa requirement ni problem. So, debit tayo, income summary, 200,000. And then, credit natin yung capital accounts nung partners. by the amount na na-compute natin kanina. Okay na yung entry natin for our So okay na yung entry natin for our first illustration. So next problem tayo. Provision of 5% interest is based on the ending capital balance. Their ending capital balance were 850,000 pesos for each partners. The profit sharing is 60-40 respectively. Again, your requirement natin is to prepare journal entries. So this time, wala ng salary. Pero ang allowed for both partners is interest for their capital. Ang basis ng interest for their capital is their ending capital balances. So sabi rito sa problem, both partners daw... May 850,000 ending capital balance. Balik tayo dun sa ating Excel para mas madaling mag-explain since problem yung dinidiscuss natin. Interest on capital contribution, 5%. Again, si Princess at si Sarah, then kunin natin yung total. 
850,000 ending capital para sa bawat partners. Multiply lang natin sa 5%. So, pareho sila ng interest na makukuha. At katulad ni salary, si interest ibinabawas din dun sa net profit. So, 200,000 net profit, less natin yung interest. Total of 85,000. So, the remaining profit is 115,000. This remaining profit will be distributed according to their profit sharing. Which, kay Princess, 60% Well, kay Sarah is 40%. So, 60% ng 115,000 is 69,000. And 40% of 115,000 is... And 40% of 115,000 and 40% of 115,000 is 46,000. Okay, so, total lang natin lahat. And then, from here, pwede na ulit tayong gumawa ng journal entry natin. So again, debit tayo income summary since profit yung pinag-uusapan natin. 200,000 pesos. I-credit lang natin yung capital accounts ng bawat partner. Okay, so, credit tayo Princess Capital for the amount of 111,500. And credit Sara Capital for the amount of 88,500. So, ito na yung sagot dun sa requirement natin. Next illustration tayo. Princess and Sarah established a partnership. The partnership's profit for the year was 200,000 pesos. Princess is the managing partner. As per agreement of the partners, the following should be considered in the distribution of profit. Annual salary allowance of 25,000 pesos for Princess and 40,000 pesos for Sarah. Provision of 5% interest is based on their ending capital balance. Their ending capital balances were 850,000 pesos for each partner. Bonus to princess of 15% of profit after salaries and interest, but before bonus. The profit sharing is 60-40 respectively. So again, requirement is to prepare journal entries. So kung makikita natin, Medyo mahaba na yung problem natin. Meron ng salary, may interest, and this time, may additional bonus pa para dun sa ating managing partner. So, balik muna tayo dun sa ating Excel. So, ilatag lang muna natin. Unahin natin yung salary allowance, then interest daw on capital contributions, five percent, princess and Sara, then yung total. Salary allowance, 25,000 for princess and 40,000 for Sara. Total salary is 65,000. Interest on capital contributions, based daw sa ending capital, kung saan merong 850,000 ending capital bawat partner. 850,000 
multiplied by 5%. So, bawat partner, merong interest na 42,500. And then, dagdag natin yung bonus given to princess being the managing partner. So, paano natin kukumpitin yung bonus? Sabi kanina, bonus to princess of 15% of profit after salaries and interests but before bonus. Okay, so profit, net profit natin is 200,000. Less natin yung total salaries. And yung interest. $85,000. So, eto raw yung tinatawag natin na net profit after salary and interest. Ibig sabihin lang no, net profit after salary and interest, net profit minus total salaries and minus total interest. So, 50,000 pesos. So, 50,000 pesos. Multiply natin yung 15%. Kasi nga, yun daw yung basis ng bonus natin. So, bonus given to princess is 7,500. So, walang bonus para kay Sarah. Kunin ulit natin yung remaining net profit. Na paghahatian nila based sa kanilang profit sharing. Okay, so, from the net profit after salary and interest, ibawas lang natin yung bonus na ibinigay kay princess. So, ang remaining profit natin is 42,500. So, for princess, 60% ang kanyang profit ratio. For Sara is the remaining 40%. 60% of 42,500 is 25,500. 40% of 42,500 is 17,000. So, again, itotal lang natin lahat. Yun na yung share nila sa ating net profit. And from here, pwede na tayong gumawa ng ating journal entry. So, since profit tayo, debit ulit natin si income summary for 200,000 pesos. Then, i-credit natin yung capital accounts ng bawat partner. For the amount, so credit princess capital amounting to 100,500 pesos. And credit Sara capital, 99,500. So, eto na yung entry natin for this problem. Another problem tayo ha, puro problem solving tayo, pero different scenarios. The only difference is the bonus that will be given to princess. Yung bonus sa problem kanina is 15% of profit 
after salaries and interests, but before bonus. This time, yung bonus is 15% of profit after salaries, interest, and bonus. Salary allowance, interest, on capital, contribution, 5%. Then, bonus given to princess. So, yung partners. Then, the total. Salary for princess is 25,000 and 40,000 for Sarah. Five percent of their ending capital is forty two thousand five hundred. So bawat partner mayroong forty two thousand five hundred. So ang tanong magkano ngayon yung bonus na ibibigay kay princess? So kumpyutin natin magkano yung bonus. So gawa natin ng formula yung bonus. Ang sabi kanina, si bonus daw ay 15% ng profit after salaries, after interest, and after bonus. So, lagyan natin ng amount yung bawat item dito sa ating equation. Ang profit is 200,000. Ang salaries or yung total salaries natin is 65,000. Yung total interest natin for their capital contributions is 85,000. And itong bonus, hindi pa natin alam since yan nga yung kinukompute natin kanina. So, 200,000 so 200, minus 65,000 minus 85,000 would be 50,000. Yeah. So, equation natin ngayon is bonus equals 15% multiplied by 50,000 minus bonus. So, itong 15% multiplied by 50,000, yan yung na-compute natin kanina na 7,500. 7,500. And then, 15% multiplied by bonus. 15%. So, tanggalin lang natin yung open-close parenthesis, ha? So, dahil parehong bonus to, so, dahil meron tayong dalawang bonus, yung bonus na hinahanap at yung negative 15% bonus, edi pagsamahin na natin sila. etong negative 15% bonus, ilipat na natin dito sa kabilang side. So, dahil nilipat natin siya sa kabilang side, magpapalit siya ngayon ng equation. 15% bonus equals 7,500. So, add lang natin. Bonus plus 15% bonus. Ang mangyayari dyan, 1.15 bonus equals 7,500. Paano naging 1.15? Kasi diba, pag kinonvert natin into decimal, yung 15%, magmove lang tayo ng 2 decimal places. Kaya, 1.15 siya. So, from here, divide natin sa 1.15 yung bawat side. Kaya, bonus equals 7,500 divided by 1.15. So, 
bonus is equivalent to 6,521.74. Ito na ngayon yung ibibigay kay princess. 6,521.74. So, tignan natin kung makukonsumo na ba nitong tatlo yung ating net profit. So, net profit natin is 200,000 pesos. Less total salaries Interest and bonus to princess. Okay, 65,000 total salaries. 85,000 total interest. And 6,521.74 yung bonus para kay princess. So, meron pang natitira. Ito ngayon, yung paghahati ni Princess at ni Sarah according to their profit sharing ratio. Si Princess daw is 60%. Si Sarah is 40%. Okay, so, 60% of the remaining profit is 26,086.96. 40% of the remaining profit is 17,391.30. So, from here, pwede na tayo mag-create ng entry natin. Debit tayo income summary amounting to 200,000. Then i-credit natin yung capital accounts ng bawat partners. So credit princess capital 100,108 0.70 and credit Sara Capital 99,891.30. So, eto na ngayon yung entry natin for this problem. So, next problem tayo. Princess and Sara established a partnership. The partnership obtained a net loss of 200,000 pesos. Princess is the managing partner. As per agreement of the partners, the following should be considered in the distribution of profit. Annual salary of 25,000 pesos for princess and 40,000 pesos for Sara. Provision of 5% interest is based on the ending capital balance. Their ending capital balances were 850,000 pesos for each partners. Bonus to princess of 15% of profit after salaries, interest, but before bonus. The profit sharing is 60-40 respectively. Requirement, preparation of journal entries pa rin. So, katulad ng mga previous examples natin, may salary, may interest at may bonus. Yung bonus is 15% of profit after salaries and interest but before bonus. Ang pinagkaiba natin dito dun sa problem kanina, net loss ang na-incur ng partnership. Balik tayo dito sa ating Excel. Okay. So, ilatag ulit natin. Ano-ano ba yung mga tatanggap ng bawat partners? Nandyan yung salaries allowed. Nandyan yung interest on capital contribution. 5%. Nandiyan yung bonus given to princess. Okay. 
Princess and Sarah then total. Yeah. Yung salaries allowed, 25,000 para kay Princess, then 40,000 para kay Sarah. For a total of 65,000. Interest based on their capital contribution or ending capital contribution. 850,000 yung ending capital ng bawat partner. 5% of that is 42,500. Total of 85,000. So, eto ngayon siya. Magkano yung bonus na ibibigay kay princess? Ang sabi natin kanina, kung gagawan natin ng mathematical equation yung bonus, Si bonus daw ay 15% ng profit after salaries and interest but before bonus. So, meaning, hindi natin ibabawas si bonus. Ang problema ganito, net loss tayo ngayon. So, ibig sabihin, wala tayong profit. Zero yung profit. At dahil wala tayong profit, zero din yung bonus ni princess. So, compute natin yung remaining loss. Yan. So, loss tayo ng 200,000. Sabi natin kanina, ibabawas. Less, yung total salaries, interests on capital contributions, and bonus given to princess. So, zero na yung, pro, uh, so zero na yung bonus natin. Total salaries natin is 65,000. Total interest is 85,000. Okay? Ibig sabihin, itong negative 350,000 na to, yan na ngayon yung paghahatian ni Princess at ni Sarah according to their profit sharing. Dahil nga loss tayo, at sabihin, mababawasan yung mga nauna nilang natanggap. Si Princess, 60%. Si Sarah, 40%. So, 60% of negative 350,000 is negative 210,000. 40% of negative 350,000 is negative 140,000. Total lang natin to. Ito yung share nila sa net loss ng partnership. So, from here, create tayo ng journal entry. Okay, so, dahil net loss tayo ngayon, Ibig sabihin, i-credit natin yung income summary account amounting to 200,000. And ang debit natin ngayon will be the capital account of each partner. So, negative So, debit Princess Capital amounting to 142,500 and debit Sara Capital amounting to 57,500. So, ito na ngayon yung entry natin for this problem.